Hello, welcome back to LA Joe Special Training Institute. Uh, on this training we have been on, previously we've been able to do that uh, installation of softwares and I trust that every student has been able to install those softwares to their system. And today we'll be starting off with our module one, part B, that is data acquisitions. And in data acquisitions, I will break down what we'll be doing. We'll be using a series of softwares, including our browser and I recommend Firefox with IDM. Some students who complained they couldn't, I was able to put them through on how they can install Firefox and IDM. It's very very important because these two factors will be used in downloading your data. Now we'll be starting off with uh, Map Puzzle alongside with Google Earth. Now from there we'll move to Google Earth Full and then we'll move to SAS Planet and then we'll be ending up with the browsers. Now stay tuned as we start this training. Alright, on this training section, we'll be starting off with the data acquisition and we're using Map Puzzle. So, every student is going to just open up their Map Puzzle alongside Google Earth because Map Puzzle and Google Earth go hand in hand. So, we will, by the end of this training, I expect you to be able to download satellite imagery and I expect you to also know what you do with the satellite imagery. I expect you at the end of this training to know how you could be able to use Map Puzzle effectively. So, Without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, with our internet connected, we will launch the software that we'll be using. We'll launch Map Puzzle and Google Ed. I hope you have those softwares installed. Now with that, we launch the two of them concurrently. Okay. Now on the Google Ed, you will search the area you want to use. Map puzzle opened. Minimize it. And now I want Quarempa. And I will search for it. If you just download Google Ed, it's going to the coordinate you get will come from uh, its degree minute second. So that is what we want to use now. But when we enter into Google Train Google Ed Training, I will explain more for you. But for now, if you just download your Google Ed, it's coming degree minute seconds. So the next thing will come up in the other videos. So what we want to use now is degree minute seconds. So I want to download Quarimpa. So I'll pick my place mark. Then I will. That's all I needed from Google Earth. Now open up my map puzzle. Now before we start, I would like to explain. This is how the software is. I would like to explain brief things you need to do before you start anything on map puzzle. You go to general application settings. Now you see this one you're seeing. Turn it to zero. Why? Because it is written by the side download attempt zero is equals to infinity that is it keeps retrying your download continuously until infinity then you check this two box a leave blank leave tile blank if no image available that is you force it to continue now this basic three settings are what will help you to uh, get your download successful so you save application settings this is settings saved to more puzzle settings whatever now you come back to your map settings so this is where you need to put in the coordinates you just acquired so from my latitude here I'll put in 9 degrees is 6 minutes now you see here we have 35.60 35 you just make since it's 60 approximate to 36 this is 9 not 99 so the second one that is the longitude we have seven degrees we have 24 you need to be conscious of this thing 24 minutes and we have 15.27 it was 15 because there's no point on this place and all of them are in northern and eastern now the next thing is you see this box here this one showing going to the left you click on it it's going to it's going to bring this whole thing you've typed back here in decimal degrees now most of the times when you put your coordinate in decimal degrees it will not allow it will not just 
it will not accept it i don't know but most of the times it does like that but in case you have your coordinate in decimal degrees you could impute it here then press here for it to come back so you, now requirement means that the decimal degrees and your degree minutes and seconds must be filled for anything to start now the next thing you need to do is to come to your base and as you see here they say required this is our first time starting this application so when you click on it it's going to oh i've done that before if you click it's going to ask you some language then you just click ok that's all you need so it will download this service once you're connected to the internet now you see varieties of source you download from if you are interested in downloading road and some other future maybe market and all that you could choose just the google map but here we want to download satellite imagery so i'm going to be downloading bing map satellite plus labels now i needed a satellite imagery i needed it to come with um labels so on the alternate here i'll pick uh, a serial wall imagery that's for arcgis now i'll preview it it's going to show me the area coverage now it covers not all of Guarimpa do so you see Guarimpa, Guarimpa 1, Guarimpa 2 so and it's at zoom 17 now zoom 17 is covering what let's post this one first let's remove it Zoom 17 says covering two ki 3 km by 3 km. Good. Now, here's what I'm going to show you. On this preset, you come down and use B0 JIS 1030 by 1456. That is 1456 millimeters. If you check A0, you see that A0 is in 841. So let's check A0. See, we have six, 11 by 16 kilometers. Now let's check B0, you will see that we have 14 by 20 kilometers. So this is how you can download a large area with just one imagery. So let's go back and preview again. Okay, now you see the preview. You can see that it's covering the whole of Guarimpa. And it's even out of Abuja, but here is something we could do. Now, since we're interested in Guadempa and we needed a high resolution image, and at the same time, we need a large area, but here it's going off Abuja. Now, I'm just going to click here and drag. You see this green? That's to say I can adjust to where I needed. So, I think this covers most part of the Abuja city. Though, you see the main Abuja city here with this, I'm going to get more of Abuja than any other place. So let's assume I'm getting here only. Alright. So I will just click OK. This green button you see here. It will generate the new part I've selected. And come up with the whole of where I've selected. Okay. So let's assume this is what I want. And I will just close down here first and explain something. Now you see the zoom. The zoom level determines how high the resolution of your image is going to be now if you want a larger area you have to reduce the zoom now let's assume i drop it down to 16 now we're going to have having 28 by 40 kilometers let's assume i go up to 18 we're going to have in 7 by 10 kilometers now let's preview this and see where and where it's actually covering within the abuja metropolis now you see it's just covering most part of the guarimpa again but let's let's look for all part of abuja now this image i just this 18 zoom is going to be higher in resolution than the 17 zoom but equally it's going to be better in resolution to most of the satellite imagery you'll be downloading okay let's preview this again and do the last thing and then get done with it now what you are required to do because you know these images are not georeferenced so you will want to georeference it after you've downloaded it now here is the best solution i have come up with so to do that 
I'll be showing how to do that now here on this top part you make sure you are at the top corner of the image and then you copy the coordinate so you can hear my book flipping I want to copy so each student uh, to select I will send locations to you that's what you'll be doing as your assignment and you'll be downloading it to your system so I'm going to be naming where you see my mouse pattern I'm going to be naming that place top left and I'm going to be writing latitude and longitude so I'll be writing the coordinate on my latitude I have 9.148 one nine eight on my longitude i'll be writing seven point three nine one seven three nine so i'll be coming to here and i will be naming here top right top right and on my latitude is going to be nine point one five zero nine zero nine on my longitude is going to be seven point five two one five one five okay then i'll be coming down in this order here i'm going to be taking it and naming it as lower bottom now i'm just going to be naming the lower left let it not be too much of lower right sorry it's going to be lower right and then my latitude is going to be 8.968506 my longitude is going to be 7.522202 then lastly i'm going to be doing this as lower right so my latitude is going to be 8.969184 my longitude is going to be 7.391052 okay once you've copied this whole thing you could give this a try to follow exactly the location i gave but i'm going to be sending locations to each and every student and you will be downloading the image of that places okay i won't be needing it but i just want you to have different locations you will be needing it to use it for the work we'll be doing okay so <clears throat> if you do not watch this video to the end you'll miss a lot of things and that will all right i don't know so you close this down now the next thing that's left for you to start downloading on this software is to go to browse now this is where you select location of where you want to save this image for for easy identification I'm going to be saving my all right I'm going to be saving my at my C drive so every student is supposed to create a folder on your C drive and you name the fold name the folder work as a first folder then you enter inside and create another folder okay let's just save it let's just save it here work for now on your C drive then you rename this to Abuja. That's the location, right? Map Abuja. You turn this to, this to TIF. That's the format. Though it does not really matter. I will show you what to do after it's downloaded. Now we are set to download. Click on download. And you watch it download from beginning. This is going to move from here to here. Now this is going to take time because the image you're downloading is actually a large one and a high resolution so the least resolution is supposed the least zoom you are, this zoom you are going to be using the least in any case scenario should be 15 that is if you want a large very large portion and you want it to be to be um, fairly high then you need to download it at zoom 15 but for my suggestion with what I just showed you zoom 17 is the best if you use zoom uh, 15 you're going to be having a very large location and you know that in, in 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 our field the higher the resolution the lower the, that's the, the the area cover becomes smaller 
as if you keep going down the area keep increasing all right so good luck i want to see you all with a satellite imagery of your various location i'll be sending so we'll be moving right into the second software i'll see you in a bit